This is another episode of Marriage Covenant 101, and I'm your host, Chadwick Cruz. So, let's get right into it. All week, for well, for the last couple of weeks, I've been he- hearing people talking about relationships and how family hurting, how people are hurting them right now. And I tell a lot of people, you get prepared to experience that when you're doing right. Because think about it. Joseph, his brothers sold him into slavery because they felt that he was their father's favorite. See, ever since the beginning of time, family members have been selling other family members out one way or the other. So you have to be prepared for hurt. If you're prepared for hurt, the hurt don't hurt so bad. So let's get right into it. So what we're going to be talking about today is different dreams, different interpretations. See, some people take notes of things of others to the extent of forgetting the reality in themselves. Do you understand what I'm saying? See, some people look at other people's dreams and what God is doing for other people, they focus on it so hard that they forget the direction that God has placed on their life and the purpose that God has for them. They get away from that purpose because now they want to be like the Jones. First of all, it starts with wanting to be like, then it turns into envy and jealousy. We'll talk about that a little later. So, Dreams always come true in some form. Every dream that you have will come true in some form. If you have a spirit of interpretation, then you will understand, okay, that's why I dreamed that. Or that's why I had that vision. When you see God in it, then you say, okay, that's what you're trying to get to me, Father. I understand now. That's where you're trying to take me. See, God's will will be done regardless of who the players are. Like on a chess game, the game is played a specific way. Everybody's job is to protect the queen. Well, think about this. God's will is like the whole board, both sides. And what his will is, will be done regardless of how you play the game. But remember, for you to play the game for things to work in your favor, then you have to know his will. Okay, so many people have changed their dreams looking at the lives and accomplishments of others. What God has for you, you don't want that anymore. Because you've seen what God has done for the next person. And you want what they have. That's bad. You should never ever take that spirit. What I do is when I see someone get something or achieve something, I immediately go into congratulation mode. I immediately get happy for that person. The Bible says God reigns on the just as well as the unjust. That means you can't look at a person's lifestyle and say if they are deserving of what God is doing for them. Just be happy for them. And in due season, you will see the reason why God placed that at their, in their life at that particular time. Because it's all about his timing. I heard people say in the streets, easy come, easy go. Okay, everyone must know that life appears to us differently because we are differently created. We come from different families, different days, from different purposes, different potentials in different places, and in the company of different people, whether they're siblings, friends, colleagues, etc., Though we tend to run after each other in search of fulfillment, or sometimes we run after each other 
because of jealousy and envy. We should always be complimenting each other. And I ain't talking about interracial or none of that. I'm talking about humanity. No matter who you are, if you're a breathing, living soul, you should be complimenting the next person because you know that our God has no respect of person. That means if he did it for them, he would do it for you. But God want to handle you on his own level, on his own timing. That's the purpose that he had ordained from you to, for you from the beginning. See, why are you in search of things that God didn't place in your life? Why are you in search of things that God has never purposed for you to have? And when I say things, y'all understand me. It could be spiritual or material. Or it could be just, you know, things that you see another person's with, a desire. So um, several times people fail to be themselves by copying others. And see, when you see someone moving in their own purpose, first thing you need to say is, God, what's my purpose? What was I created for? See, when you find your purpose, you will live your own dream. So let's talk about the great dreamer. If we read in the Bible in Genesis, it talks about the great dreamer, Joseph, the one that I was talking about, his brother sold him into slavery. Well, the great dreamer, Joseph, he went through a lot. Not only being sold into slavery, but for being sold by someone who supposed to love him, someone who carried the same DNA as him, his brothers, let alone that, wind up in Potiphar's house and then Potiphar's wife accuses him of rape. Then Potiphar throwing him into prison. Everything that happened in his life seemed like up until this point was bad. And he did nothing to deserve it. I say this to you. It's going to be people who hurt you and let you down and you did nothing to deserve it. You have been the kind of person who will pour into another person, help their dreams come to fruition. You knew that someone needed to go here. So I helped them got there. In return, that person will turn around and look you in your face and talk down to you because now they feel like that they have arrived and they feel like they are better than you, whether it be because of financial gain, whether it be because of things that they have acquired. And you look at them, mm, I help you got where you at. And then you look at me like I'm nothing. But see, that's when, if you become humble when they look at you like that and when they treat you like that, see how God will do and what he will do for you. Because he said, if you seek him in secret, he said he will reward you openly. So some, a lot of times, make moves in secrecy. And don't tell anyone. And the father who seen you and seen what you did in secretly, he'll reward you in open, openly for, for, for you to become a spectacle. People will see you and they'll be like, wow, how did he? How can he? How did she? How can she? She has the audacity. To, no, it's not her. It's God. See, Joseph was a great dreamer who was endowed with the power to interpret the dreams of others. He was in prison like I said, by the false accusations of Potiphar's wife, and he met two significant people. First of all, he met the chief butler. The chief butler, 
his title is the cup bearer. And what the cup bearer do, he drank out the cup first before giving it to the king. And if it's any poison or anything in the cup, it'll kill the cup bearer first. Well, okay. In jail, he met, in, while he in prison, he met the cup bearer and the chief baker. See, both of these people had two different dreams. We don't know the extent of their crime, but the Bible says that they offended their Lord, Pharaoh. He was offended with the chief butler and the chief, the chief baker, which was the cup bearer and the baker. He was offended with them. Now, we don't know why, because the Bible don't go into detail to tell you what did, were they crime. He don't, it don't go into detail to tell you what did they do to offend the Pharaoh or to defend their Lord. But remember, if you are close friends are born on the same day, you could be paternal twins or whatever, twins, um, it doesn't mean that you are the same. And in all things, you may have a similar prophecy. You may have a similar dream, but yet it comes with different interpretations. So the chief baker, this is what he wanted. And I'm going to read this passage from the Bible, um, which um, I had looked it up earlier today. I'm going to read you this passage. Um, it says, the cupbearer's dream was about a vine with three branches that were budding. And, and its blossoms came out and they produced grapes. The cupbearer took those grapes and squeezed them into Pharaoh's cup and placed the cup in Pharaoh's hand. Joseph interpreted this, his dream as the cupbearer being restored as cupbearer to Pharaoh within three days. Three days was he had a dream about um, there were three branches. So when Joseph interpreted the dream, he said, well, okay, in three days you will be restored as cupbearer. Then um, the baker's dream was about three baskets full of bread for the Pharaoh. And the birds was eating the bread out of those baskets. Joseph interpreted this dream as the baker being hanged within three days, being beheaded. And he said that he will have his flesh eaten by the birds. Joseph requested, see this, this is the part right here. You can help people and you can interpret the things that's going on in other people's lives because God gave you the gift to interpret dreams. But Joseph gave the cupbearer one request. After he had gave him the good interpretation, telling him that he'll be reestablished as the cupbearer in three days, he said, listen, mention me to Pharaoh to secure my release from prison. Like, okay, I done help you in what you needed to do. Don't forget about me. How many times have we helped people um, invested in the future of others? And when they get to where they feel like they have made it, seem like they forget about you. Or they forget from whence they came. That's one thing about me. When God cleaned me up, he brought me up out the muck and the mire clay. So he brought me from the low or the low Hanging with the low of the low. Guess where I go when I minister to people on the street? I go where the low of the low. And tell them, brother, this is not the end for you. God can change you, clean you up. He just wants you to allow him to do it. You see what I'm saying? Inside the walls of the church, you will miss the people that God has called you to. That's another day. But today we're talking about 
how Joseph interpreted the dreams of two guys, and he after he gave them the good interpretation, he said, when you get in front of Pharaoh, make sure you mention my name so that he will release me from prison. But the cupbearer, when he was in reinstalled in the office, he forgot about Joseph. After two more years, then Pharaoh had a dream of seven lean cows, which devoured seven fat cows, and of seven withered ears of grain, which devoured seven fat ears. When Pharaoh's advisors failed to interpret the dream, the cupbearer remembered Joseph in prison. Now, this is two years later now. He remembered Joseph in prison. He interpreted my dream and said, in three days, I'll be reestablished back to the cupbearer. And here I am, reinstated back in my position as cupbearer. So I wonder, I need to tell Pharaoh about Joseph because he can interpret Pharaoh's dream. Well, when he did, Joseph was summoned by Pharaoh and he interpreted the dreams. He said, it's going to be seven years of abundance. Then you should have seven years of famine. So he advised Pharaoh to store a surplus of grain, to keep some stuff in surplus because after these seven years of abundance, we're going to have seven years of famine, seven years of hard, bad times. But we're going to be ready because we're going to be stored up. At this time, we're going to pay some bills to our awesome sponsors. And we have Open Door Community Center. And they're having the Sweet Potato Fest on October the 15th. It starts at 9 a.m. and it lasts to 3 p.m. All vendors are welcome. Booth fees will be $35. You can register at www.opendoorcommunitycenter.com. At this event, they will have the balloon pop, the train ride. They will have the blow up houses for the kids. And then they have the free throw contest. They will have bake sales. And on these bake sales, they will have pies, potato fries, yams, cakes, shuffles, and much, much more. Look, if you need more information about this event, you can call 334-236-7549, or you could just go to www.opendoorcommunitycenter.com. Then we have J3 Rental Enterprises for your property management and rental needs. Email J3 Rental Enterprises LLC at gmail.com. Then we have Imperial Painting and Design Company. Listen, if you're looking for some great painting, no matter what form, Give Jacoby Cruz a call at 334-733-0894 and ask for a free estimate. Then we have Mr. G's Food Trailer. They're located at 429-49 West County Road 72 in Ayrton, Alabama, 36311. If you need Mr. G's food trailer to come to your location, give them a call at 334-596-6671 or you can call in at that same number and place your order to go. Then we have Soul Colors with the clothing line Pray Under Pressure. This collection is available now 
at www.soulcolors.com. And if you can connect with them at Soul Colors on Instagram. And if you use the link pray and the words pray, you will receive a 10% discount. That's Soul Colors. Then we have J. Cruz the Barber at Cruz Barber Shop in Moore in Ozark, Alabama, located at 1110 Andrews Avenue. Call Jamari Cruz for an appointment. Urgent. He's good at what he do, and he takes everything, every haircut, just like he will wear it himself. He do it like he want. He he love to make your image and your look better. So call Jamari at 334-400-6270. J. Cruz, the barber. Makeup by Caitlin Johnson. For appointments, call 334-405-3428 or look her up on Facebook at Caitlin Johnson. She's the makeup artist that's making movie stars out of ordinary people. Platinum Motors. The Platinum Motors family would like to encourage everyone to go out and get your COVID-19 vaccination. Stay safe, Alabama. That's coming from Platinum Motors, Ozark, Alabama. 334-774-0420. Twenty-first Century Gateway Realty of Ozark, a representative Gene E. Casey. If you're in the market for a new house, if you're looking to build, if you're looking to purchase land, if you're looking for rental, whatever you're looking for, call Gene E. Casey at 334-379-9048, or you can email him at gene.casey at chortable.net. Or you can look him up on the website, www.sellingozart.com. Gene E. Casey. <laughs> then we have Bishop's Framing and Trophies. They're located at 141 East Boulevard, East Broad Street in Ozark, Alabama, 36360. If you're in the market for some trophies or some framing work or some T-shirts, hats, whatever you're looking for, give Bishops a call at 334-774-3784 and ask for Danny or Mikhail Bishop. Tell them Chadwick Cruz at Marriage Covenant 101 sent you. Then we have Right Futures Children's Center, Location 1, where we're letting our light shine. Give Tamika, a call at 334-774-3003. They are hiring and enrolling. Then we have Ursula S. Wilson, Diabetes Educator. If you or your family member have been stricken with diabetes, sometimes, most of the time, it's reversible, call Ursula so she can tell you how to go about your diabetes care. That's 334-798-9077. Then we have Tina Atkins, sale consultant at Gillen Ford. If you're in the market for a new or used car, call Tina at 334-379-0672 or on the business phone at 334-443. 1,000. Tina Atkins, Gillen Ford. Then we have Bright Futures Children's Center 2, where we're still letting our light shine. We are enrolling and hiring. Give us a call at 334-443-0497. Then we have True Praise with the hit single, I believe. Listen, for booking contact, contact Roy Daniels at 334-303-5178 
or you can download the song and it's available for download on iTunes, Google Play Music, and CD Baby. Go out and check out the song, True Praise, I Believe. Thornton Remodeling and Construction. No job too big. There's no job too small for Thornton Remodeling and Construction. Call Crystal Thornton at 334-723-6425 or Jermaine Thornton at 334-655-6196. Then we have Accelerated Innovation Community Development Corporation where we're building one community at a time. Listen, if you need some changes in your community, and you need to find some financing for things to happen in your community, email us at Accelerated Innovation Community, no, Accelerated Innovation CDC 2021 at gmail.com. Again, Accelerated Innovation CDC 2021 at gmail.com. Then we have Beyond Fundamentals Basketball Training LLC. When you want to learn the game the professional way, this is the company for you. Get all of your little kids a jump start in being the athlete that they desire to be. Contact Roy Daniels at 334-303-5178 Beyond Fundamentals. Then we have fish finish line tires. If you're in the market for a new or used tire, give finish line a call at 334-774-7744. And then we have solution. When impressions count, count on solution. Call Tom Littleton at 334-774-7744. 0408. We specialize in signs, LED signs, printing, banners, promotionals, t shirts, and much, much more. You can either or you can look us up online at solutions of Ozark at gmail or you can check our website at solutions of Ozark printing.com. Splash my canvas. Contact us for all of your balloon needs. We have balloons for all occasions. Contact us for anything, the sipping paint, whatever you are interested in or need to know about art. Contact us at 334-237-0052. Or you can email us at splashmycanvas1 at gmail.com. And we have Galilee Missionary Baptist Church, located at 331 Coma Loop Road in Midway, Alabama. Come worship with us. On first and third Sundays, Sunday school starts at 11 a.m. Worship starts at 12 p.m. Well, the pastor is Pastor Willie C. Burks, and I, yours truly, is the associate pastor. Then we have Prime America and a representative of Ursula S. Wilson. If you're interested in retirement ideas, rock RAs, any financial need, give Ursula a call at 334-798-9077 with any questions about insurance, all kinds of insurance, call her and I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Ursula S. Wilson at Primerica. Then we have Ford Consulting for roofing and rest and restoration. Call for roofing and restoration, and it's listed in the phone book. Or you can email them at forbroofingandrestoration.com. And we have Kennedy's Unique Savings 
He located at 102 South Main Street, Greenwich, Alabama, where they have all kinds of groceries. They have all five, the five gallon buckets of dish detergent, Clorox, all kinds of things that he have at Kennedy's Unique Savings. And I promise you, you will never beat those prices. Give him a call at 334-268-2149. Oh yeah, he go by the soap man, shout it. Then we have Trey Avent at State Farm. For better rates, best value. Like a good neighbor, Trey Avent is there. Give him a call at 334-774-2557. Then we have Cruise Barbershop and more. We are a cut above the wrist. We're located at 1110 Andrews Avenue in Ozark, Alabama. Thanks for your support. And asked about the 10% senior citizen discount and the 10% military discount. Come see us, Cruise Barbershop. Thank you to our awesome supporters and we thank you about now it's about time that we get back into it. We're talking about different dreams with different interpretations. Um, so in this dream, the chief baker, a sweet, he wanted a sweet and juicy interpretation because he had already heard Joseph give the cupbearer a great interpretation of his dream. So if it would have been bad, he probably would have said, well, I ain't going to tell him what my dream was because I know it's probably bad too. But he decided, since he heard a sweet and juicy dream interpretation for the cupbearer who was in prison with him, he said, well, shoot, I'm going to tell him about my dream. And um, the Bible says when the chief baker saw the chief butler's interpretation was good, because we know if it was bad, he wouldn't have wanted to share his dream. He said unto Joseph, I also was in my dream. And behold, I had three white baskets of bread. The chief baker's interpretation from Joseph didn't come out good like the butler's. It instead talks of his death. Because he said he had three bucks of bread and then... On top of his head, three bucks of bread. And then the, the birds came in and they was eating up the bread. And instead, his, his, his um, dream was interpreted by Joseph to be about death and the birds eating up his flesh. See, there are people who thought things will work for them the same way that it worked for you. But it's otherwise. Life is not interpreted the same way. Don't be bitter or jealous about your siblings, colleagues, friends who are getting it better in life than you are. Because just ask God. Because you can always ask God. Why? See, but in asking him why, you got to always trust that he knows what's best for you. See, if you trust God for your season and be happy in their season, God will do, he will go over and beyond. He will become that Ephesians 3 and 20 God in your life. Now to him that's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all you can ask or even think. He become that God in your life if you trust him to do it. Stay out of competition and start complimenting the other person. See, you have to stay thankful. Thankful that God has done this for the other people. And stay thankful because your dreams will be fulfilled someday. Just don't forget about the people who sold into your life and labored into your dreams and visions to make them come to pass. Because it's people who 
who God's going to use to sow into your life. And they'll, those people will labor into your vision until your vision come to pass. Just don't forget about those people. See, the baker and the butler both forgot about Joseph's interpretation until the baker two years later when the cup, the baker had died because, you know, the, the Pharaoh killed the baker in three days. But in three days, um, the Pharaoh restored the butler, chief butler or the cupbearer back to his position. So it took the, the, the Joseph told the cupbearer, hey, remember me when you go to Pharaoh when he's reinstalling you in three days. But it took him two years. And because Pharaoh had a dream that none of his people could interpret. To think about Joseph, who was still down there in prison, say, look, I know a man in prison. He interpreted my dream. And then that's when Joseph was summoned to Pharaoh. Well, see, they've been forgot about him. I said that to let you know. It's going to be people who forget about you. Still, indeed, stay happy for them. Stay praying for them. Stay interceding on their behalf. Praying that the Lord will do great things for them. When you do, God is going to turn around and see your heart. And he's going to do great things for you also. But it was all in his purpose. It was all in his plan. He know the plans that he has for you. See, God has given different lives and different dreams to different people. But there is a time and a season for us all to shine. Wait on your time. Mummering and complaining will cause your time to be prolonged. Like a good mother or father tell their child, I told you I was going to do it, but if you ask me one more time, I'm not going to do it. See, if you keep asking and asking and asking, they hurt you the first time. And I know that it stay on their mind. Just keep waiting and praying. Because just like those two years, those extra two years Joseph was in prison, God fixed it that Pharaoh needed him. But after then, when he interpreted that dream, and it happened just like he said, he said it's going. He said it's going to be seven years of abundance. So, in them seven years, you save up a lot of grain and you store up things because it's going to be seven years of famine. And it happened just like Joseph said. And with that interpretation, God used him to interpret that. But with that interpretation, it put Joseph at a higher status. Remember, he was the one that was in prison. But now he's right-hand man to the king. Remember that. You might be going through your low, low right now. Or you might be at your plateau right now. You might be top tier right now. Never get too high that you forget about the people who helped you get there. And never get too high that you forget about those in need. Because God will find a way to abase you, meaning he will bring you back down. The Bible says pride cometh before a great fall. Remember that. Who will you be? Will you be what God has determined, what he has predestined, what he has designed for you to be? Or will you be who you want to be, but not as long as you want to be that, because God will bring you down. So I say that to say this. Different dreams and different interpretations. Beware of false prophets who interpret your dream for their benefit. Beware of family members who interpret your dreams 
to keep their finger on you and your growth because they know when God elevates you, the jealousy that's been in their heart for a long time will begin to show. Pray for those who despitefully misuse you, who say all manner of things about you, who put you down, who um, try to destroy your name. And remember I said try. Because where, where there's one person talking down on you, God will place 10 more people to see your heart and speak on the great person that you are. Listen, go out and be great. We're going to end right now with a word of prayer. Most holy, gracious, and righteous Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for continuing to give man dreams. Continue to give us vision, God. Continue to give us direction. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for blessing my family and my loved ones, God. Lord, and I thank you, Lord, for keeping us in perfect peace. Keeping our minds stayed upon you, God. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for the interpretation of dreams, God. And that they're interpreted to connect us to our purpose, God. We thank you for being who you are. Thank you, Lord for being righteous and true. can never thank you enough. If we had 10,000 tongues, each and every one of them would continuously give your name to praise. Lord, we ask that you be with us this week, next week, from day to day for the rest of our life. Keep us in your presence and we will never, ever ever stop being indebted to you. These and other blessings we ask in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Marriage Covenant 101. Remember, to get those prayer requests in because we will love to take you to the throne of grace so you can obtain some mercy and grace in your time of need. Marriage Covenant 101, good night, and we love you guys.